friends, it's Kiana and welcome back to a new video. So as you guys can tell, I'm actually home for spring break. I really don't have any fun plans. Break literally everyone I know, they're in Cabo or they're in Vegas. So here I am filming my Q&A video for you guys. But really quickly before I get started, I want to remind you guys of my discount code for Ana Luisa Jewelry. You can get $10 off with the code Kiana10. So actually a couple weeks ago, I asked for some questions on my Instagram and I got a decent amount. So I'm gonna be doing my best to answer all of those questions today. I'm gonna be addressing my love life, college, everything you guys have been wanting to know. I just have them on my phone right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop right into it because I have quite a few questions to answer. So I'm actually gonna start this off with something more simple, a more basic question that actually most people do wanna know. It's what's your ethnicity? And I'm actually half Japanese and half Caucasian. My mom's the Japanese one, my dad's the white one. That's probably usually how it goes. Most people think I'm either Filipino or Hawaiian or native American. So those are the three that I usually get. Um, I wish I was Hawaiian because I love Hawaii. So the next question is what's your major and your plans after college? Not sure how well I'm going to answer the second part of this question, but my major is marketing and I'm at San Diego State. But when I actually applied to San Diego State, I was actually a kinesiology major because I was interested in anatomy and sports medicine. Just because I played sports throughout high school, I played soccer and field hockey, but I ended up taking some chemistry classes freshman year and I just kind of realized it wasn't really my thing and I knew that with YouTube and stuff like I really wanted to do something that's more creative it makes sense for me to be marketing because I do enjoy advertising product promotion stuff there is a way more technical side to marketing not really sure where life's gonna take me I guess some potential or like dream jobs would be like a marketing manager for a company like refinery 29 which is difficult like that you need like eight years of experience but I'm just saying like dream jobs I would also really like to work at FabFitFun like a marketing coordinator like an influencer outreach I think that's also cool because I'm obviously on the opposite side of that but I I think reaching out to other influencers as a job would be pretty fun and I feel like I would be good at it. I don't know. But yeah, plans after college are probably going to be to move back home and find a job in the Bay because I don't think I'm going to have enough money to support myself over living on my own. Thank you mom and dad, you're going to be with me for a long time. The next question is, are you still in a relationship? I got so many questions about my relationship status and as of right now I am single and it's been like that for almost I think five or six months. I feel shorter than it's been. Yeah, I'll get into more detail when the other questions come up but that's basically like the flat-out answer right there more juicy questions this person asked me at what age did you lose your virginity I was a junior in high school I think oh wait no okay so I lost my virginity um, as a senior in high school which is I think normal nowadays is it just me or does ENS 280 smell like shit so that's actually a building in my school um, I haven't been there in a long time I actually took chem 100 there freshman year but I heard that the PSFA building was like causing people to get sick that's honestly freaky like that's scary. Should I be saying everyone's names? Okay, the next question is, what's your favorite place in San Diego? That's honestly really difficult for me to pinpoint because there's so many places I like in San Diego. I think Pacific Beach is really nice. Um, I've been going over there a little bit more lately. My friend Amy Dang, she asked me, how are you? I'm doing very well. I'm actually pretty happy with my life right now. I don't know, I've just been kind of being independent, enjoying my time at home for break. Um, she also asked, hey girl, are you single? <laughs> Lauren asked me, do you think dating apps are the way to go or remaining patient? Okay, so I actually I haven't really used dating apps before. I mean, okay, not gonna lie, I have been on Tinder before, but I've never actually used it to meet anyone. I feel like it's actually surprising. A lot of people do find their boyfriend or girlfriend on Tinder. It's not really my type of thing because I know most people use that for other things, but I feel like most of the guys are just not what I'm looking for. I'm not too knowledgeable about this subject because I haven't really tried online dating. I don't know. I think remaining patient is honestly like your best bet because things just come naturally, you know? Um, I think the best relationships do flourish when you are friends first. I think that's what everyone thinks. When I had my longest relationship with Josen, we were friends for a long time before that. Yeah, I just kind of like letting things kind of naturally occur how they should. So another question I got is, is it hard to get the classes you need at SDSU? P.S. I love you. I love you too. And it actually is a little hard to get your classes at San Diego State. That's one of the reasons why I think our school isn't that good. Everything's so impacted because it's such a popular school. Being a marketing major, I feel like I do get a decent amount of my classes that I want, especially because my registration date is usually pretty good because I have a lot of credits. Like if you get a good registration date, you'll be fine. Okay, Abby asked me, how many guys have you dated since starting college? I'm not trying to like put anyone on blast here. Um, I did talk to a few people freshman year. As most of you guys know, I was dating the same person for over a year, so that kind of took up most of my college year so far because I'm only a junior. I'll just say, like, I've had a few flings here and there after the breakup with my ex. I don't know. I, d I went to Vegas with a guy, the Pike fraternity, and it was fun, but honestly, like, I'm not looking for anything 
right now. That was a really bad answer to that question. I'm sorry if these answers are terrible, but um, we're gonna keep going. Claire asked me, how are you paying for your time at San Diego State? I'm very grateful. My parents actually are paying for my college tuition. I'm super lucky to have my parents helping me out here. But Sam asked me, do you ever regret choosing SDSU? Okay, quick little story. Um, when I first got to San Diego State, like I said, I actually didn't want to go there that badly. My heart really wasn't set on anything specific. I kind of wanted to go to a UC at least. I took like seven AP classes total in my whole like high school career. So basically, I was planning on going somewhere better than a state school. It was pretty fun, freshman year. But then sophomore year came around and we moved to an apartment with just like a couple people and it wasn't really as fun and I really didn't like San Diego State. I just didn't like my classes and stuff because I was taking on my lower division GEs and those are pretty like, those are basically a waste of time. If you're taking general ed classes, it feels very useless and you're going to hate your life for a little bit. But um, most of the time they are pretty easy, so it's not terrible. So I guess you could say I had my fair share of time when I didn't like SDSU and I kind of regretted going. It's funny because things just kind of like changed for the better and junior year has been amazing. Like I love hanging out with the people I hang out with. Short answer, I do not regret choosing SDSU. I'm really happy where I am now and I've just been really enjoying junior year. Like my friends are awesome and I've just been having a lot of fun. We do a lot of things. Going out to parties really helps too. Like I'm not a big partier, but I feel like I've kind of gotten into it more because I just want to have fun. Um, you know, while I'm young, while I have no super big priorities. So I guess that's my answer. That was really long. Sorry. Okay. So Alyssa asked me, what's the weirdest, scariest thing you've seen at a party? I haven't seen that many weird things at parties. I do go to a decent amount of frat parties. I think the weirdest thing would be something gross and it was just two people making out at a frat party and they look like they were about to bang. They look like they're about to bang it out and I was just, how do you stay so fit? Love you. Heart, heart. I actually don't really work out that much. I feel like I try to promote a healthy lifestyle on YouTube, but in reality, I do not work out that much. Like I want to, but I'm just really lazy. Being healthy has always been kind of a struggle for me but in high school it was really easy because I was working out all the time like every single day after school I'd be playing a sport that gave me like a good physique and I feel like I've just been able to maintain a decent figure just because of my athletic history so I'm pretty lucky now my family is also very athletic so I kind of just have good genes got good genes also yes I'm wearing Uggs so yeah I don't really work out that much I do want to start going on more hikes if you guys are in San Diego and you want to like be friends I'm so down to go hiking with you um there are a few like Torrey Pines is super pretty and nice I have no specific regimen or anything like that but I used to go to the gym all the time sophomore year especially Stairmaster was always my favorite I feel like that's a really good workout okay so the next question is from Trisha and she asked me how come you never joined a sorority I heard SDSU sororities are one of the best there's a lot to unload in this question I feel like I get a lot of questions asking me if I am in a sorority I take that as a compliment if you guys think I'm super social I am not in a sorority and I actually I don't know I have to disagree with you about SDSU sororities being one of the best there's a very heavy emphasis on Greek life at our school which just kind of means that if you're not in a sorority Basically, your life sucks, okay? I'm totally kidding, but I'm just gonna say that if you aren't in a sorority, you're gonna have a hard time getting into parties. You have to show your group me, you have to show like proof that you're in a sorority in order to get into their frat parties. Life can be tough if you're not in a sorority, but that's like, only if you wanna go party, it'll be tough. If you don't wanna party, it doesn't matter. Personally for me, I've never wanted to join a sorority because there are just too many events, too many like commitments that I just wasn't willing to make. And that's because I have YouTube to do, I have other things that I'd rather be doing than attending a bunch of events. And so I know a lot of people that are in sororities and they really love it. They make so many friends from it. And honestly, like sometimes I'm jealous that I didn't get that experience, that many friends, but I've been super happy just chilling on my own and like being with the friends that I've made freshman year and sophomore year. So yeah, I just never joined because I didn't really want to make that commitment and I didn't also want to pay that much money because my apartment's pretty expensive too. Another question I got was, why did you and Joseph break up? Are you guys still friends? Okay, so now I'm going to unravel everything about the breakup. So Joseph and I were dating for a long time. We were dating for like one year and five months, I think. Nothing, nothing super bad happened, honestly. Really just because long distance. And long distance, if any of you guys have done it before, you understand that like FaceTiming gets annoying and boring. Like you just miss your significant other and you just want to be with them. So initially this breakup was supposed to just be a break. I just didn't want to like feel... Like I wasn't giving him enough time so I just suggested we should take a break. I spiraled into something bad but that's just because once we took the break we both just like 
grew a bunch of resentment towards each other and it turned into a real breakup. I guess that's like the best way to explain it. It's not the best way to explain it, but that's all I can think of. Like we both really loved each other still. Guess things just weren't working out as smoothly as I hoped. But yeah, now I've just been single for a little bit and we've just been doing our own thing. We've just been trying to be independent. It's hard for me to explain this because honestly, I barely even know how this happened. We cut each other off for like a whole month because it was just too hard for us to like still be friends. So Angie asked me, what's my favorite music? I also got a question that asked me what my, what my favorite song is at the moment. And and it's hard for me to pinpoint like my favorite song at the moment because I have so many favorite songs. I'll have my Spotify linked down below if you guys want to check it out because I have so many playlists and I honestly love making them. They're so fun. I literally love Ariana Grande's new album. I think one of my favorite songs is RPG by Kilani and Black. It's just so smooth. I really like... I feel like R&B is my favorite type of music. Okay, the next question is how tall are you? And I'm 5'4". How do you survive school and work? It's so draining. I don't know how to handle stress. Okay, personally, it's weird because I feel like I've been pretty good at managing my stress. Like, I honestly am not a very stressed person. Maybe San Diego State isn't that hard of a school, but there are some classes that are pretty tough. Like finance, that was literally the worst class of my entire life. That's my first C that I've ever received in college. I think the reason why I don't have much stress is because I kind of accept my fate I've mentioned this to my friends before, they all kind of just laugh, but um, it's true, like when I study for an exam, I'm nervous, but I'm not stressed. Like I don't really get anxiety when it comes to school, um, just cause I usually can pull my like shit together. And work, work is my YouTube stuff right now. As you guys have seen, I'm not super, super consistent with it. I want to be and I try to be, but Calvin just asked me, why so pretty? Thank you. Caitlin asked me, first kiss experience. So this is a funny, this is a funny story. When I was a freshman, that was when I got my first kiss and it was actually with my first boyfriend. He actually is gay. So my first kiss was with my gay friend. Um, but no, he hadn't come out at the time. Next question is, what's your most toxic trait? Okay, so I actually really wanna be straight up with you guys here. I feel like I have the tendency to be pretty blunt. Like I'm just a very straightforward person. I think that's a good trait sometimes, but I think sometimes like if people are a little more sensitive they're not used to me, then maybe it'd come off as like judgmental or maybe I'd come off as too harsh, but I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty friendly in general and I really don't judge that much, but I feel like sometimes my bluntness or straightforwardness, my confrontational um, personality would make me come off as too harsh. So that's kind of my most toxic trait, I think. That also has to do a lot with my family though. My family and I, we're all really just like confrontational, very straightforward people. Like we're blunt. We're gonna tell the truth and we don't really take any shit. So I just feel like that's how I've been shaped. I think it's good to be blunt sometimes. Like you don't wanna just be like too soft with people cause that's not gonna get you very far sometimes, you know? Okay, so I have another question about my ex. Brittany asked me, why did you guys hang out that one time after you broke up? So if you guys ever saw that vlog during winter break, we actually hung out. We went to go get food. We went to the mall together. We both still really liked each other at that time, but we just wanted to hang out and like see where we stood. And he also wanted to apologize about some things, so. That's why we hung out. Another question is, please do more vlogs. Also advice on starting your YouTube channel, especially in school. Okay, so I actually started my channel a really long time ago, but I never actually fully took it on until college, I feel like, because throughout high school, I didn't really try to like actually become a YouTuber, you know what I mean? In college, I think it became easier because it's like vlog my lifestyle because I was living and I could just film it, you know? It wasn't like I had to go out of my way to film. It was just like natural. So I think doing vlogs in school is a great way to start your channel. I don't know, just having like support from my friends and my family, like they all like that I do this and they think it's cool. So I think that really helps when you have like good people to support you and help you. But honestly, you just need motivation and that's literally what I lack sometimes and that's why I don't post super consistently. Especially when you're in school, you're gonna need that motivation to really get you to the next step because schoolwork comes first, obviously. Andrea asked me, where's one place you'd absolutely love to travel and why? I think the place that I'd wanna travel would be like Thailand or it's just so beautiful. I'm really into like tropical places. I also really wanna go to Greece, Santorini maybe. I know that's kind of a basic answer, but I feel like Ava Gutowski, my life is Ava. A lot of the places she's, she's gone to, like that's inspired me and I feel like I'd want to go to those same places. Arthur asked me, can we sing soon? We have to hang out soon. I literally haven't been singing that much and I feel like that's always the case. If you guys didn't know already, I like to sing. I have a couple covers on my Instagram if you guys haven't seen them. Tuya, my roommate, she asked me, do you pour your milk first and then your cereal or the other way around? I don't even eat cereal, but I used to eat cereal and I would do the cereal and then I'd put the milk in. 
I'm pretty boring, I know. That basically wraps up this whole Q&A video. I hope I answered your questions decently. I know this was like super long. I tried my best to explain things, but I'm not good at explaining. Like, I feel like I was not very concise and I didn't really get to the point all the time, but I hope you guys got something out of this and enjoyed hearing more about my life. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll answer them. But for now, that is basically gonna be everything in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.